Moon, 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 it's time to stop. At this point, everyone has talked about this whole Samsung fake moon saga, but it's time we hear what Samsung themselves has to say about this whole thing as they have finally responded with a full-on blog post. Samsung explained how its scene optimizer AI works when you're taking a moon picture on your Galaxy smartphone. They pretty much reconfirm what we already know, which is their scene optimizer, aka AI enhancement of the moon. The AI on Samsung phones are trained to recognize the moon and even when you deliberately add blur on the moon picture, the AI can definitely still sense it's the moon and it does what it's supposed to do which is to enhance the detail and at the same time unblur the image if it's originally blurred. If people want a normal shot, you can still get it by turning off the scene optimizer option. Samsung has proved that they are not replacing the photo, instead they are indeed adding details to the original photo as for further confirmed by experiments done by people online. So I guess it's time to put this topic to the rest, again to sum it all up, it's AI enhancement of the moon based on the learning pattern. You can actually read the whole article by Samsung, it is linked down below in the description. Also in the news, Samsung is fully focused on their folding phones, the Z Flip 5 and the Galaxy Z Fold 5, we're likely going to see the unpacked event in August, but with that Samsung will have more surprises as we could see the possible return of the fan edition this time the Galaxy S23 FE. According to Korean media, Samsung is planning to release the S23 FE in Q4 of 2023. This year, they pretty much killed one of the Galaxy A series model, which is the A74, so the space for the S23 FE definitely makes sense. As for the specs, the hardware will be very similar to the Galaxy S22, possibly at $600. Since Galaxy S23 lineup is very expensive in markets outside the US with all the techs added, considering that the S23 FE's position could certainly make sense. Now last but not the least, smartphone chipsets keep getting better as Qualcomm finally unveils the brand new Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 chip. This chip has a 50% faster CPU and a 2 times faster GPU compared to the 7 Gen 1 from last year. It's also Qualcomm's first mid-range chip to have full support for a 200 megapixel camera setup along with 10-bit 4K 60fps video. If Samsung is indeed planning the S23 FE later down the year, then Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 could be the perfect chip for this phone while also keeping the price low at about $600. So there we go, that's all the latest news, Samsung's response is now finally official. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later, peace out.